G'day guys, how are we? Um, I am with Fletcher today, and we are actually going to be doing my hella horns. Um, so, huh? actually, yeah, we're actually going to be doing them. Uh, we're, a we're actually going to be doing my hella horns. Actually, yeah, actually, wow, wow, actually. yeah. So, um, <laughs> I've gone, we've gone, and Fletcher's given me hella horns for my car, um, for free. Yep. Because he's a legend. Yep. Um, and we are well, I've already painted them, um, which I'll show you guys in a second. I recorded that. Um, and I'm going to make my own wiring harness for it and then we're going to mount it onto my car and hopefully it'll look pretty good. So I'll go out to the shed now um, where the hella horns are and I'll show you the colour I picked. So the colour I actually picked to do my hella horns, very, um, very different. I want to see. Ooh. Red. Oh. <laughs> Everyone does red. Oh. But I decided I want to do red because I have got plans to what colour I want to do my car and I think red's going to suit that. And if I do anything too different, um, yeah, it's going to be a bit... When did you, when did you get invisible hella horns, bro? Invisible hella horns? Yeah, check it. Where the hell are they? They're, just, they're right there. You just can't see them. They're invisible. Yeah, see this? See, these are the new hella horns you've got these days. Um, I don't know where the hell they are. <laughs> but anyways. Oh. Actually, we won't see you guys before I get them. Um, I will show you me painting them right now. Um, so with these ones here, they've um, actually got just nuts and bolts holding this little cap thing on as you can see. So I'm just going to take all these out here and then I'll be able to get this cap off. So yeah. So I'll give it its first spray of red. Um, yeah, I'm going red again. So with this red, I've got, I'll zoom out a little bit. So with this red, um, it's a paint and primer. So if you guys can't get a just normal paint, um, so if you guys can't get paint and primer, you're gonna need to prime it first, um, just to block out all of the existing stuff and whatnot. I don't exactly know what primer does perfectly, but anyways, you're gonna need some primer. Um, but mine comes with paint and primer, and I've also got some clear to go over the top of it so it's nice and shiny. But yeah, so I am going to put my first coat on, which is just going to be a light coat. Alright, so here we go. I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. So, if you're a painter, don't judge me, because I am clueless. Um, I'm guessing that's just going to be the first layer. Alright, so it's been about five minutes before I've done my last coat. Um, well, yeah, the first coat. So now I am going to spray it again, but this time I'm going to go the opposite way. So I went this way the first time, um, and now I'm going to go this way the second time to try to even it out. I think that's how I meant to do it anyway. Um, so that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm going to do, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the three coats. So I'm going to do one this way is the first coat, one this way is the second coat, and I'm going to do, um, both ways is as as the last coat. I don't know if that's going to be too heavy, but that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, on this one, I'm also going to try to get around the outsides. So, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm probably not going to end up doing this. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. But I'll try it. So, yeah. Anyways, on with the second coat. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to lay this one a little bit thicker and hope for the best because I'm going to get out all these dark sort of spots in it and yeah. Alright, so I am back after about 10 minutes. Um, my idea was, because this was my last coat of the red, my idea was if I left it for a little bit longer, so it was a little bit more, I guess, tacky, rather than still wet, um, and I put the clear coat on, then I guess it should be better. I don't know how that works. Maybe I could be completely wrong and it's the opposite, but I'll do it like this. I'll see, I'll see how it goes. If it doesn't go any good, then I know for next time not to do this. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to lay my clear um, coat. I'm going to do three layers of that as well. I'm not going to do it as heavy. 
Um, but I'm also going to make sure not to do it too light because clear coat I know can come out pretty weird if you do really light coats. So yeah, I am going to do that right now, my first coat of clear coats. Alright, now for round two. And I've just did the last coat of clear coat now. I'll show you guys the hella horns now that you guys have finished watching me paint them. Um, I have gone and painted these ones red. I reckon it's not a bad job at all to be honest. Um, if it focuses properly. Obviously it's not perfect because I'm not really a painter by any means. But I'm definitely happy with these and I reckon it'll look really really good on the car. Um, def red will definitely pop quite a bit. So yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these back together um, and then I am going to go and make a wiring harness for it. So we just finished, well I just finished putting this on. <laughs> yes sir. Um, I reckon it look really, really cool actually. Wait, hold up. Um, right, you might be able to, you might be able to clip this into your OEM, the OEM plug. Yeah, I'll see how it goes. And then, yeah, so just, right now we're... Just fucking stick it on there, put the, put a female on this end, and then that, that could literally be all we need. Yeah. Well, that's what, we're, at the moment we're about to start trying to make a wiring harness for it, just so, and make it look neat, so... As I, you guys told, well, as I told you guys earlier, um, I've got braided stuff for it um, to make it look a lot neater and everything. I've got black and red wires, as I said earlier as well. Um, and yeah, so we're going to start making a wiring harness um, for this color horns. And then we'll have them on and they look, should look mint. So we're going to take the bumper off now. Um, and we, then we're going to see if what bits fit my OEM horns. So we don't have to worry about trying to do too much where it comes to hooking up to the battery and whatnot. So yes. So um, what we figured out well, Fletcher's figure, yeah, should I say? Sparky. Sparky. <laughs> um, is that well, this is already hooked to the um, horn here, That's and it's right. grounded through this one. So, theoretically, this male end should just go straight in there. That's pretty schmick. All right, now the the big the bigger question is: Does it go into this one? Does it go into the OEM one? Yes. Oh, it's kind of loose, but we can just tape that up. It'll work. Hundred percent. That'll work. Okay, we Sweet. Got, we got a big one. No, we don't. That's okay. So, yeah, so this is our positive. Um, and what's this? They're both positives. Oh, okay. So they're both positives. It's literally just... It's um, and they're grounded through this here. It, it literally have, like, almost no voltage. They take no voltage to run. Yeah. It's, so actually, It's probably full 12 volts, but... Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to change these um, and putting the Hellhorns ones in, and then we're going to connect these... Man, um, with this one, we might not even need to. Yeah. So we're going to see if these fit the hella horns. Because if not, the, this one's really short. This one's long, so this should just fit straight onto your hella horn. Yeah, should. Should. Keyword. But then we'll have to extend this one, which is fine. But. Yeah. So, um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're just going to try to fit these into the hella horns, and then we're going to make our own ground, which I'll probably just ground bolt onto it onto this. Onto we're hydrated, aren't we, Fletch? So the first thing we're going to do is obviously just undo the battery. So I'm just going to go ahead and put you on a timer, so it's just fitting it up, and then I'll show you guys once it's fitted.
So we've gone and put all of our wiring stuff on. Um, we've connected, well Fletcher's gone and connected the negatives on both of these ones. Don't worry about the red, we just ran out of black shrink wrap. Um, and then I have gone and done all the positive ones just here. So now what we're doing is we're gonna test it for the first time and pray to God that it works. I'm coming. He's coming. I'm coming. Of truth. Touch. We love you, Fletch. Shut up, man. Okay, we got. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Jeez, they're loud. <laughs> so we now have working hella horns. We'll just put the bumper on and I reckon. <laughs> I reckon they should. <laughs> I reckon they should. <laughs> He thinks he's hilarious. He really does. Look at his little squinty eyes. Um, That's racist, man. It's not racist. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I reckon they should look really good. So we'll put all the bumper on and everything on now. And I'll update you guys once we put the bumper on. So I've just gone and put all these back on and I reckon it looks so much better than what it did with the other place. Um, I don't know exactly why, but it does. And it looks a lot better like it. <laughs> I just like how it's a little bit hidden at the same time rather than so like look at me sort of style. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a fan of the way that sits. So that's it for this video. Um, it's all about obviously me installing hella horns and whatnot. Um, I got them for nothing like I said. And the paint was, say, all up $15. So technically, I got Hella Horns for $15. Because <laughs> wire was pretty much nothing. Those connectors I already had and all that. So, yeah. So, technically, it's $15 Hella Horns. I'm happy. Cheapest Hella Horns? Yeah, I reckon. I reckon that's a title. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more, like and subscribe. Like I already, already said, thumbs up, like, same thing. Um, and if you guys want to see more videos, like I said, subscribe. And any comments, constructive criticism, can't say the word properly. If you got any of that, comment down below, any video ideas, etc. Um, but yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.